Hey everyone, I'm Marcel and I'm back with The Pulse and I've been doing a little bit of math lately. People have asked, hey, what's your stat cost? What do these supplements cost? And I've seen a number of comments about NMN being expensive. And I started to look under the hood at the different costs. And yes, if you're gonna take 16 supplements, it's gonna be more. And that's something I'm gonna post as well in an upcoming video. But I looked at NMN. Like people were saying, oh, NMN's expensive. And I think you're looking at this completely wrong. Because when I looked at NMN and I did some quick math, I said, wait a minute, this is cheaper than coffee. This is cheaper than an ice cream cone. <laughs> it's cheaper than chewing gum. What are you talking about expensive? It's amazing that it's not more expensive. But if I look at 100 grams from Do Not Age, that's where I get mine. That's where most of us here get Do Not Age NMN. So let's look at their NMN because they have a bunch of things you could do to further save money on the NMN. And I want to break those down for you. But if you just buy the 100 gram container of powder, you're going to save the most buying the powder over the capsules. It also gives you some control. You could take a little less, you could take a little more. You can increase it more slowly over time than just buying a 500 milligram capsule. So you buy the powder. It's 97.50 in US dollars for 100 grams. That comes to right at 49 cents per dosage per day. That's still, that's less than coffee. <laughs> that's less than a lot of things. That's, that's comparable to the coffee I make at home, which is a good coffee, but it's comparable uh, to the price of the coffee I have when you add in some of the cream I put in. It's about the same. Now, then if you subscribe, you get a year's supply. It's 183 grams. You actually get a bonus day. You get a year and a day, and your cost comes down to 43 cents per day a dosage of NMN. Then you can use my code, the Pulse at Do Not Age. You can get that price down to 38 cents per day. So now, even if you're taking the 1.5 grams that I worked my way up to, you're still talking about a dollar a day. It's still less than a cup of coffee. On top of all that, you have Health Points, which is their free product program. So every time you make a purchase, you get points that you can apply to get free products. And by the way, when I quizzed them about some of their pricing, they said, hey, be sure to tell your viewers that they have to shave off the top of that spoon because if they overfill that spoon, then they will run out sooner. And I thought that was pretty honest to admit to that, right? Make sure it's actually 500 milligrams in the spoon just to be sure that you're gonna get your maximum dosage. But at the end of the day, I don't think a lot of people look at that container and go, oh my gosh, 100 grams is gonna last me 200 days. Or a subscription is for a year's supply. So keep that in mind. So NMN, in my view, is just not expensive. Cheaper than chewing gum. In fact, it's surprising that with the FDA taking their moves and Sinclair making his moves, causing untold disruption in the marketplace for NMN, it's amazing that it isn't even more expensive, that the price hasn't been inflated. And then we have inflation as well, which is widespread. So it is amazing, somehow, the price was even reduced recently by 10% for the powder form. So what's incredible, and I give the credit to Do Not Age, I don't see any other way of looking at it. They were the first major NMN seller to reduce the price significantly. This dates back a few years, even before I started. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even be taking NMN had the price not come down. When I first looked at NMN, it came out to about $100 a month, and I just couldn't justify it. I got two small kids, and if I'd have known what it would do for me, I would have found the budget for it, absolutely. But, you know, on a whim or trying it, I couldn't justify it. I couldn't see the reasoning. But now, $16, $17 a month, I just don't see it as an expensive option. I don't see it as an expensive supplement. But yes, Do Not Age has driven the price down. But what they've also done, now if you date back to when everything hit with the FDA, the manufacturers were saying, we're not sure how we can keep making NMN. And there were articles out there talking about this, how the supply could be tightened. And I'm sure that was whetting the appetite of those against NMN as a supplement, trying to make an exclusive drug out of it. And then you had panic buying. So some companies were running out. Do Not Age didn't run out. What they did is they talked to Ephaphorm and they said, hey, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't know exactly how it went down. I wasn't privy to the exact conversation. But let me just tell you, Do Not Age ordered enough NMN, if not the whole batch. And they said, we're not going to run out. And they said, there's no need to panic buy because some people have talked about, oh, these videos are about panic buying. No, 
You don't need to panic buy. You don't need to panic buy now. You know, NMN is still in the pipeline. It's still available. The very worst they can do is say, you can sell what you have in stock and that's it. That's the very worst. And that would be USA only. And Do Not Age has so much NMN through their pipeline and on order that that would take a long time for them to run out of if they ever did. Because at some point, like I said, they would just ship from Europe. You know, it's interesting that the politicians are spending their time, that the government, I should say, and some politicians are spending their efforts blocking NMN, healthy supplements in general, when you got illegal drugs flooding across the border. I mean, it's just laughable to me to think that, oh, we got to ban this supplement that exists in milk, but we can't block fentanyl. We can't block drugs. We can't block illegal drugs. It's pathetic. And something needs to change. Just yesterday, I saw an article, for, again, from Josh Long at Natural Products Insider. It's a great article, and it talks about 30 years of Deshay. And it discusses the positive aspects of Deshay on the supplement industry and how it made so much possible. And it also talks about some of the pitfalls of Deshay and how drugs have been placed at an unfair advantage over supplements when it comes to preclusion. And then they also talk about something we've talked about, the fakes, which is another reason I say go with a reputable company, someone who provides tests. Matter of fact, it's better if you could test it yourself like I did with the Do Not Age batch that I got it in the very beginning. When I went to Washington, members of the supplement industry were telling congressional representatives, hey, how many companies, how many industries come into your offices and ask for more oversight? The reputable components of the supplement industry invite and encourage FDA oversight. I mean, it helps the industry that they're a part of, that they're investing in. They're doing R&D on these new ingredients. So yes, they want the credibility that comes along with the oversight. They want customers to relax. They want customers to know. And they are a regulated industry. There was a lot of misinformation released in the media saying that supplements are not regulated. And that's just not true. They're very regulated. But Amazon wasn't regulated. And they could sell whatever they want coming from China, put anything on it. They weren't testing them. And when those tests were provided to the FDA, they just ignored them. They sat on them. They did nothing. So getting NMN off Amazon had its blessings. It had its positive impacts. When I talk about it, I talk about the legal scripts part, the part that's had impacts on the good members. It had serious impacts on the positive parties selling NMN. And that's the downfall of the moves by the FDA. But nobody in the industry is supporting the fake supplements out there, whether it's NMN or whether it's the many other supplements that are up on Amazon being sold as fakes. Through all of that, as I said in the very beginning, no, NMN is not expensive. It's just not. Is it effective? You be the judge. You try yourself because you see how affordable it is. You try it for yourself. It's worked for me. It's worked for thousands of others who follow this channel. I don't know who's making some of the anti-NMN comments in the comment section. They're by far in the minority on this channel, but they come up. I don't know what's behind it. It'd be interesting to dig deeper and see what the agendas are of these people. One theory I have is it's bureaucrats at the FDA just got a little free time, go up and harass the NMN community. And they probably do it to all supplements, but just my theory. Keep watching. I'll keep covering these topics. Have a good one.